so beautiful. When it comes to specific products that these high-end brands make, some of them are just mind-blowing. I remember when I first used this and I was just like, what is going on? Like, what is in this? Is this magic? Hey guys, it's Sue. We're going back to my channel. Guys, I, am, I have finally recovered from the worst fever slash cold that I have ever gotten in four or five years, seriously. Anyways, I'm back in the live. Today, I'm going to be talking about products that I actually use on a regular basis, but I just never had the chance to share with you guys in my videos because I feel like in my recent videos, I talked about like basically, practically the same products all over again. I felt like a broken record. So today's going to be a very different one. It's going to be a refreshing one. You guys are going to be, ooh, let me check that out. I haven't seen that before, but it looks great. So without further ado, let's get this video started. First, beginning with the Suryahan The Black Serum. Alright guys, so you guys know I have an, in fact, I'm infatuated with the Suryahan Bond set. You guys know that is like my ride or die and it was a sponsorship that I did and the reason why I even agreed to do a sponsorship with that product in the first place was because I had already had this black serum in my collection. Yes, this was a product that I had in my drawer and I had used it and I actually liked it and that's that's why I agreed to test out the bond set and I fell in love with it, blah, blah, blah. The point being is that this is also a serum that I really like using as well. First, it looks very chic. Set très chic. Uh huh. And it's an actually a serum for anti-aging. It has not only yeast extract, but extras over there. So Studio if you guys didn't know, is a brand from LG. And LG household is like one of the biggest companies in Korea that make beauty or skincare beauty brands along with Amore. So they're like huge. They're humongo. And so you guys know they're going to really invest. They're going to invest in the R&D. They're really going to invest in their special ingredients. This has their special exosome extract. And what's really interesting is that basically the researchers at Surya, they were like, ha, huh, ever notice how orchid, their flower leaves, they don't shrivel, they don't die, and they last for a very long time. And so what they found are these yeasts on these orchid flowers and they've extracted that, translated that strong longevity potency into this and put it into this product. And so it has a special ingredient, black yeast and also black licorice extract. It's going to really, really help fortify, strengthen your skin in terms of helping fight any visual signs of aging and just helping your skin look radiant. The reason why I fell in love with this is because even though it's like anti empty aging and it looks intimidating the formula is actually surprisingly very light it's not like watery per se but it has just the right amount of viscosity where you're just like huh it's very chill it's very chill for a product that looks hella heavy i know it looks like it's going to give off that snail thickness gloopiness but nah it actually absorbs really really nicely really fast into the skin and just seems to make your skin feel very, very healthy. One funny thing is that my mother, stereotypical Asian parents, like their favorite type of gift is cash. They love getting cash, but the only exception are a high-end department first floor luxurious brand gift set like this. Um, she was actually impressed. She was like, oh, I'll take that. And so they're having like a special promo with special discounts and they have like sets where you can get not only the serum, but also this beautiful she mask. Okay, I'll be honest guys, ever since I got really sick, <laughs> I've been staying off of any sheet materials just because I felt like, you know, I'm sick, so my skin's gonna be sick. It's not gonna be good. It's it's gonna be fragile. But and so I've been staying off of any like paper she mask, but this has been working well. It's like I, it's been a while since I've been blown away by like a sheet mask material sheet mask. What? Paper material of a sheet mask and this wow i it's just my skin okay my skin's dry really dry or something my skin drank this up after i i didn't even have it for that long after like 10 minutes it literally you could tell all of the essence that was packed on the sheet mask my skin had just drank it up and that's like one of the most satisfying things ever when you see it working when you see your, that your skin's been hydrated it's drank its water this actually has ginseng extract which is also a great potent ingredient for anti-aging it's a beautiful sheet mask and you also can get a set with the serum and the cleanser 
P.S. This cleanser, the bubbles, oh my gosh, especially if you use the bubble maker, makes the most chonchonan, <laughs> which basically means like really tight. You know, some like cleansing foams, it feels like hella not concentrated. It feels hella loose. It's like, is, is this is this the way to do it? Is this right? But this one, it feels very, very like the bubbles are just like concentrated and it just, you can tell that it's doing a good job in cleansing out your skin. So you can get these different types of special sets. So make sure to check them out. I leave all the details down below, but this is really good. It's actually a serum that I have been using. I just did, I just never had the chance to mention it, but yeah. All right, next up, I'm going to be showing some love to the lab by Blandu. They have really awesome products. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember, but we actually carried their products in the Unisoo box last year. Yes, yes, yes. I know you guys, a lot of you guys really enjoyed. And I have to show you guys these two products. First, the uh, La Pebble Du Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Waterproof Tone Up. This is such a hydrating tone up SPF. So ever since I really, I got hooked onto the Tide Bar Tone Up SPF, as I showed you guys in my unsponsored glow base routine, I've been really exploring different types of Tone Up SPFs just because, uh, the dermatologist that I met recently, she told me, I think, I think, oh, okay, every single dermatologist <laughs> I've been telling me that I really should not wear makeup if I do have acne prone skin and I get it I get it, but I still want a little bit of brightening as if I've just gotten tons of sleep and I am living that stress-free life that I'm clearly not having right now So and I was like tone up SPF so they answer they give you not only SPF protection but they give you a bit of that tone up color to just even out your redness even out your complexion and it's like a two-in-one product it's like you can just use this as your base and it's been working great and this must I say has to be one of the hydrating Total SPF that I've ever used. Granted, this doesn't have zinc oxide. Instead, they used even the A plus as well as titanium dioxide. So given that, their formulation is just hella smooth, hella creamy. It obviously will rock your socks. It has a peachy, milky, apricotish tone, if you will. And it blends out really, really nicely. Like, granted, the tone up effect is there. So if you don't like white cast, of course, try out their just regular SPF. But if you're like moi, and you're like, Sue, I just need something like an all-in-one, easy breezy freezy, just something that will give me some protection and also give me, you know, a bit of brightening effect. This is your girl. And the fact is that, of course, the lab by Blanco, they specialize in hyaluronic acid, especially low molecular weights. And that's exactly what they did. They put in very low, uh, teeny tiny hyaluronic acids in here. And that's what makes this even more hydrating and easy to blend out. Now I will say compared to like the Taiba one, this feels less greasy. The Taiba one is like hella rich. It's She's really great for the colder seasons, but I feel like as we approach summer, we don't want to go all crazy, you know? So I feel like this is more appropriate now that it's definitely getting more humid in Korea. Mm -hmm. I will say this is a great, great, great toner cream to check out. Okay, this is also a cushion that I've actually used quite a lot, but I just never had the chance to share it with you guys. And it is their cushion. This is the Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Healthy Cream Cushion. Okay. It's a little controversial in the sense that it really doesn't give you much coverage. And you guys know me. You guys know me. I don't, I'm not an advocate for really thin, you know, natural looking cushions. But I think when I used this, the timing was right. I wasn't really breaking out. I didn't really have a lot to cover. And I just needed something that I could slap on for in the busy mornings where I didn't have to be meticulous. I didn't want it to be too dewy, nor did I want it to be too matte. And this just... The timing was right. Life is about timing, okay? So this was a cushion that I just happened to pick up and it just looked so natural. It just made my skin look really healthy without giving me that heaviness of the makeup bases that sometimes makeup bases give you. And so this has this is really a great cushion if you like that natural. <laughs> I feel like such a hypocrite for like even saying this, but you guys know what I mean. If you're not really dealing with much breakout, you should try this out. The thing that I love about this cushion is that, of course, because of its light, hydrating formulation, 
you can just fix this up any time of the day and it won't get mucked up because that's sometimes the case that happens when you use like matte cushions it gets mucked up if you are not careful or like thick cushions this one no problemo no sorry you can just like so easy next holy crap this has got to be okay i did i okay i'm just losing it because i'm really excited about this next one i you guys know i've been really trying to be diligent with my antioxidants as i mentioned in my recent video because antioxidants are essentials to really prevent the aging and oxidization of our skin so i've just been really really diligent so i've been using a lot of vitamin c products you know l ascorbic derivatives famous ones really really expensive ones really affordable ones you guys see my journey and i gotta say this has got to be the best vitamin c product i've ever used till this day and ladies and gents i give you guys the 107 sosa vin biome vitamin c serum this is so beautiful like that is the adjective to describe the serum okay so this is a potent antioxidant ample so i went to the brand office i like visited and i got to hear all about it this isn't an ad or anything but it's just it's nice to know like the behind story so and the, they have an in-house formulator chemist and he made extra he paid extra attention to make sure this was really really stable and not vulnerable to the process of oxidizing because once the formula oxidizes it becomes becomes useless it becomes obsolete so they paid extra attention to that so this uses 15% of vitamin C derivative or the 3o ethyl L ascorbic acid which is a very stable vitamin C derivative and they also put in their own vinegar fermented vinegar wheat as well as black vinegar probiotics prebiotics and ginseng extract so it's packed with really effective potent ingredients that's really going to help with the antioxidants that's going to fight off all of the free radicals of your skin and just help it make your help your skin remain youthful and i'm pretty sure this is like placebo effect because it's not like you can really see the effects of antioxidants in my opinion um but i just feel like well, on the days where i use this i can like my skin look, looks less tired just with vitamin c just in general with vitamin c products i just noticed that my skin looks less tired at the end of the day when i cleanse it off everything and the formulation need i say more this is like a crossover between a oil and an essence and it doesn't leave any of that tackiness stickiness that some vitamin c products will give you because of its unique formulation it just absorbs seamlessly into the skin it's just i just do this and like i just apply it on and voila it just makes your skin look really healthy glowy and it actually does help your skin be healthier what makes your skin healthier so if you're into vitamin c and you're willing to make that extra investment make sure to check this out it's truly beautiful all right next one is another beautiful product and it is the Shiseido Urban Environment Triple Benefits. I actually am almost done with this. So I just ordered a new one. It should be outside my door right now. I'm expecting it any moment. Well, so this is, once again, a high end. You guys know I'm not an advocate. Like, I am I say that in every single video. But I just, you know, while I don't think you need expensive skincare products, no, that is not the truth. However, when it comes to specific products that these high-end brands make, some of them are just mind-blowing. You're just like, how is this even possible? And this product is one of them. Holy moly. And you know what? Okay, it is a little expensive. I got this for like 49,000 won in Korea via coupon. I got it on sale. So it's not that bad. It's not that atrocious. <laughs> okay, it is expensive. But still, this is hell. The formulation is freaking good. If you live in Korea, Go to Kupai and get this. Seriously. Uh, first off, this has a combination of both organic and inorganic UV filters. It also has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as well as other chemical UV filters. But the formulation is like, what the heck? I remember when I first used this and I was just like, what is going on? Like, what is in this? Is this magic? It starts out with a watery one, and but it finishes off as like this beautiful velvety powdery one and it's not a matte one this is legit the definition of a powdery velvety finish 
it won't dry your skin out and it just leaves that really nice really pristine finish on your skin so if you're someone where you're like sue all of like the k-beauty ones are too hydrating and i don't want a too matte one try this out this is amazing oh did i even mention the name this is the urban environment triple beauty sun care emulsion last but not least this is also a product that i've used a lot and i've just never had the chance to mention it in my videos and it is the tier tier ceramic ceramic cream you can see guys this i've used up this is a whole jar, 50 ml, and I'm almost done with this. This is a cream that I had at my parents' place. And whenever I went to my parents' place, you know, I get to try out different skincare products that I still have there. And this is a cream that I just stuck to because I really liked it. It's called the Ceramic Cream, and it legit gives you a ceramic skin, looking skin. So in Korea, we have this expression called 도자기 피부, which translates to ceramic skin. And it's kind of along the lines of glass skin, except that with ceramic skin, it's more refined. It's more elegant. It's more luxurious. It's not like in-your-face kind of glow. No, this is more like like K-beauty, Song Hye-kyo actress kind of glow. It's, you, see, you see it, but it's more like a healthy radiant glow. So it's more subdued, if you will. So this is a cream that legit gives you that. Every time I apply this on my mom's like, damn, your skin looks so good. <laughs> the finish of this cream almost reminds me of the Astura one in the sense that it's very creamy. It leaves a very nice glow. Granted, the Astura one, just for comparison, feels more like a lotion emulsion, and this one feels like a cream, like a legit cream. And oh, it's beautiful, I gotta say. So what I do, I just like take the whole bunch, I just rub it, and I go all in like this. And it just leaves my skin looking hella glowy and healthy. In terms of the ingredient list, this has macadamia seed oil, it has shea butter, olive oil, polyglutamic acid or fermented soybean extract, which hazel. So it has a bunch of ingredients to really fortify your skin barrier, protect it. If you are struggling with those areas, like you just need a calm, basic one that's just going to repair your skin barrier this is it this is going to build up that fortress or, or around your skin just help it protects you know so this is actually a cream that i really love i know like medi i met him the other day i was like dude this is like really good I, I do recommend this if you have more of a drier skin type really and for the colder seasons but if you can get your hands on this to try, make sure to check it out. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. There are a bunch of other hidden gems that I really want to mention. But of course, I want to keep this video short and sweet for you guys. But for example, I really love this. Oh my gosh, I can't even read this. Oh, Hala Level Premium Gokujun... What are you called? Premium Hydrating... I can't read Japanese, guys. Premium Hydrating Meal. I just got this from a Japanese trip. I love it. And I also love... The Hanyo Mugwort Cream, they just upgraded it and it just feels amazing. That's another Hanyo Cream, Mugwort Cream, an Artemisia Cream, sorry. They go by Artemisia. Yeah, if you guys like this video, the, these types of videos where I'm able to share with you guys what I also love on a daily basis, what I use on a daily basis, let me know because I have a ton, all right? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next.